What is going on YouTube? It's been like six week vacation for me. Uh, long time no speak. Today I'm going to do part three of the subliminal uh, messages, uh, the breakdown, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be breaking down Pacific logos. Uh, today is going to be breaking down sports and sports in general, not logos. Uh, you think these games are yours when they are in fact not yours. They were created for you by these cultists, uh, Jesuit, Saturn worshipping, Moloch worshipping, Baphomet worshipping elites who rule over every one of us. And uh, I think uh, by the time I get done with bowling you'll be able to see that very clearly. Uh, but we're gonna start with pool and in the game of pool you have the infinity which is always in the center of the pyramid of course the eye is what you use to hit the pyramid the same people who make pool make the game bowling Brunswick um, and just to let you guys know that yes I do go bowling with my father it's about the only quality time I have with him he's either watching TV drinking beer or bowling and that's pretty much our quality time together but just because I bowl doesn't mean I can't see what is right in front of my face um, and they do sell the eye uh, bowling balls at the particular bowling alley that I go to of course this is another reference to the pyramid and the eye the bowling ball itself has a third eye and flip the logo upside down of the particular alley that I go to an AMF alley and we get something quite familiar of course the scoring in bowling is the I and the X I think I've broken that down enough times but I'm gonna do it one more time just because uh, I think I've got like eight new subs or something since I last checked uh, so some of you guys might not be caught up so let's uh, let's catch up IXXI which forms the uh, flag of Israel but it also forms the twin hourglasses or the 88 the twin towers the two pillars of Freemasons the Roman numerals 9 and 11 yeah. they even make bowling balls <laughs> Brunswick even makes bowling balls called Saturn why not right and the icing on the cake is the fingers that you use when you go bowling <laughs> you're constantly throwing the horns and I actually uh, took a cheap camera with me to the bowling alley so I could get this on film for you guys that's pretty much what the holdup was uh, I wanted to get this on film so that there was no question that what I was saying was being misinterpreted uh, at the start of each round, you get a friendly greeting from Saturn. Good luck. And they have since updated. Since I took this video, they have since updated their entire establishment. They have renovated the entire thing. They have new graphics now, and I mean everything's been redone. The floors, everything. They've got projectors everywhere. Everything's been redone. They've got brand new systems, and not even five minutes into the game, uh, last uh, I believe it was Sunday, there he is again. Saturn popped up, so I'm gonna have to take my camera back down there again and get the new <laughs> Saturn footage off the screen. Uh, it's just it's never ending and I know this has nothing to do with um, with uh, sports but when they call something a Saturn rimmed soup bowl and they put it in your face like this I mean simply draw a line from each color 
uh, you know, draw a line from yellow to yellow, red to red, and blue to blue, and there is your cube. And you draw a line on the perimeter. Hello? <laughs> they called it a Saturn rimmed soup bowl. Alright. Football. Football has a 360 foot field. And there's that 360 again. Uh, and I've broken down the nines in another video uh, prior to this one, and I will go back over that uh, again because I found something else out with the three and the six. Of course, this is the three, six, nine matrix, uh, and there is proof to that, and I have proof, mathematical proof of that. So I'll be showing that in a second. But uh, back to what I was saying, the 360 is uh, significant because of the 360 degree angles. and there is a 360 on the top of the field and there is a 360 on the bottom of the field and that gets you your 360 triangle up and your 360 triangle down all angles equal nine all important angles I should say equal nine your 45 is four plus five your 360 three plus six plus zero um, your 180 1 plus 8 plus 0, they all equal 9. Broke, I think I broke that down pretty good in another video. Um, your pylon here is 18 and a half uh, feet, which 18 is three sixes, and then you have a spare six there for fun. And when you score a touchdown, you score six points. And of course, if you take 18.5 and multiply, or excuse me, divided by pi. The uh, number is, uh, I believe, 5.8 something, um, which is close enough to be rounded to 6 in my book. Here is the 369 <laughs> code that I figured out just simply by playing with some numbers. Um, I believe it was about two months ago or a month and a half ago where I had, I had discovered this interesting pattern with nines and I remember that the three and the six is also important so I went back and did some more math and sure enough you wouldn't expect to see patterns in odd numbers you would expect to see them in even numbers but this is strange that you would have a three six nine 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 and over on the sixes you have six three nine six three nine six three nine on and on and on infinity um, which kind of proves that there is some kind of mathematical matrix and it deals with the numbers three six and nine which are infinity on a continuous cycle um, I'm still kinda you know I'm still trying to understand why this is important but I have a good feeling that all of this is important this is a Jesuit ring uh, and these are uh, artifacts pretty much these are so old uh, this is how long this has been going on forever um, and it's <laughs> quite apparent I mean the, the more you look at this stuff the more crazy it gets right uh, there you go need I say more there's your Jesuit ring with your twin towers, your twin pillars, your gate of Abaddon, Apollyon. Oh, and now we can see clearly who the Freemasons work for. If it wasn't clear before, it's got to be clear now. And it never ends. Wrestling, you got you know your branch of the New World Order, and of course everybody's favorite, Jesse Ventura, with his... Twin Eagle, 33rd Degree Mason, Rothschild's Banking Cartel, Coat of Arms, right on his back. I don't get it, but okay. And soccer. Soccer is... <laughs> five hexagrams surrounding a pentagram. Or, excuse me, the soccer ball. And the black and white duality that they love their checkered board pattern of the Masonic lodges. 
For good measure, I thought I'd throw this up there. This is the picture of the Baphomet, and there is a three fingers pointing up, and there is three fingers pointing down, symbolizing a three-pointed triangle up and a three-pointed triangle down, which gives you the hexagram. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, golf. I don't think I have any graphics for golf. But I am going to leave a link to a video that is full of hexagrams and it's relating to golf. So check that out. Of course, you got the 18 holes, which is three sixes. You've got uh, 18, which is one plus eight is nine. They love doing that stuff. So I'll leave a link to that. Check it out. Take care, guys.